Hey everyone, I'm back with another try on video and these videos that I'm recording today are all for my collaboration with Monocell Uruguay Yarns and this is for Fall 22. This is a And I love this hat because it's super be beginner friendly, but it has some really fun design aspects that um, make it interesting for not just a beginner. Uh, for example, I don't consider myself a beginner, but I think that it's really fun. Let me do my fake zoom in so that you can see some of the details. So as you can see, it's quite uppy or vertical, but that's just because I really like my hats like that. You can, you can definitely get it into a normal beanie look, but I just love the styling of it being um, very vertical. So that's how I'm going to show it today. This is knit in the Mono Still Uruguay yarn, which is called Cardo. It's the 100% Corydale wool, and it has some high lows in the color, as you can see. And um, I knit this on US 8, but the tag says that you can knit it with US 10. I think probably me knitting it on US 8 gave it that really vertical look. So if you're into that, go for it with an eight, but you could definitely also knit this with the 10 that they call for on the label also. So the way that this is knit is it is a standard long tail cast on that then just goes into stockinette for a while. That's what makes it super beginner friendly. The thing I would recommend is if you've never tried to knit in the round, this is an excellent project for that because you're just casting on onto your double pointed needles, or maybe you prefer to magic loop, either way, and then knit stockinette for a while until you're basically two rows from the top. At the top, there is pleating. So that's the second new skill, and the reason why I think it's really fun for not beginners. If you've never done a knit pleat before, this pattern will show you how to execute the knit pleat. After you do the pleat row, there's one decrease row and then the bind off. And that's it. And then if you are adventurous and want to create a fun pom-pom, you're welcome to add a pom-pom to the top like I did. I love a smiley pom-pom. But you could obviously add any sort of pom-pom that you're interested in. So this is my pleated pointed hat. It's, you know, has that sort of slightly pointy shape and I hope that you'll consider knitting it. 